dialed in for our brand new Nutcracker. We debuted in Holidays with Jill Bauer, it might have been Your Home with Jill, last Christmas in July, an oversized Nutcracker, and the response was overwhelming. You all loved him. You offered me some suggestions, I worked with our team that brings us this, and I have to say, while I loved last year's, this one is a million times better. Why? First of all, I think his face is so much more refined. We looked at several different faces, artist renderings. This one I thought looked so elegant and so regal. It looks expensive, it looks well done, it's awesome. I love the way they curled the metal for the hair. I love his hat and how we've used red and green bulb lights, those are LED lights, inside his hat. But as you go down and look at the rest of his costume, look what else we added. He has his beautiful gold epaulets. We have red and green lights going down the front here of his outfit, and he's playing a drum. Not literally playing a drum, but he has a drum piece. This alternates with red and green lights, and in between those lights are these faceted crystals. We kept red and green as the whole motif, and if you pan all the way down, look at the crystals on his boots, and look at the texture on the base. For this particular Nutcracker, he is four feet tall, and all you need are two C batteries. He is for indoor and outdoor. So you can put him by your front door. You can put him on each side of your garage. I know Pat James Dementry last year sent me an email and she's like, shame on you, Jill Bauer. You made me spend a lot of money today. I had to have that nutcracker. So people love this idea. This is what you see in the super fancy catalogs. We're thrilled to bring them to you. So four payments of easy pay on this one. The only assembly that you'll have you'll connect the drum. There's a little wire piece that you'll click into place and there's a little notch for the drum to slip onto and that's all you need to do. Two C batteries, runs on a timer. Let's go look at the metallic version because I love the red and green. I think that's very traditional, but when you see this silver and gold, I just think it's fantastic. So here's this one. We did one on each side here. Look at the silver and gold. I, I just think if I do say so myself, we did an awesome job on this particular nutcracker. So as you look at the finish on him, it has almost like a speckled glittered look. It's not gonna come off, but it gives it a beautiful texture. We really kept it like this more champagne tone of the silver and gold, so it's not too bright of a gold. The star, the feather, look at the warm LED lights that are across his hat. Look at his face. Look how great that face is. It's not a scary nutcracker. I remember for a long time, like I didn't want anything to do with a nutcracker when I was a kid. Like their faces sort of creeped me out a little bit, I have to say. <laughs> kind of like the same way clowns did too. Did anybody else feel that way? Um, but which, and the sad thing apart th about that was my grandfather was a clown in the Shriner Circus. And the whole clown thing freaked me out. Anyway, um, but when you look at the warm LED lights here, that along with the LED lights on the drum, again, these are not lights that are out. They alternate with the kind of dome lights and then these little faceted crystals going all the way around. Go down on this one too if you can, Brian. I don't know if you can see his boots. Um, and then also the silver textured base. I mean, come on, e everything about it is so well done. And my producer, Brian, is telling me there's an update. What does that mean? Oh my gosh, 1,300 of these have been ordered. And if you want the silver gold, only 500 left. But the red green is also going very, very quickly. So look how great. I mean, maybe you do have a sunroom or a sun porch. How great to open up those doors and have a nutcracker on each side. I know it's a lot of money, but if you could do one on each side of your front door with the planters that you have out front with your artificial Christmas trees, oh my gosh, wouldn't that be wonderful? Or what about right when you walk into your foyer? If you do a large nine foot tree there, you know, have a little speaker there playing the, you know, the nutcracker waltz um, and ballet and have that wonderful, you know, sound going on, the dance of the sugar plum fairies. How fantastic is that? Many of you have had daughters who have danced that Nutcracker Ballet. Wouldn't this be a memorable item for holiday decorating? I love the drum. I love the details. I mean, just everything about it. I've been so excited. And you know what's been fun for me is so many of you have written to me and said, Jill, last year you did a big Nutcracker. Is he coming back? I was so happy.
happy to say, well, not the exact same one, but one that I think is actually better. And I hope that you all agree when you see this one and get it at home. Again, the assembly is minimal. All you will need to do is there's a little wire that you'll need to connect and attach the drum. Okay, look at that. Don't you want that to be your front porch? I love that. Um, and then take a look how great that is with all of your greenery. There is the silver and the gold. Ooh, only 100 left in the silver and gold. Last call, uh, H2O, look how great that is. I mean, you don't have to do a lot to get your home ready, but I love that it's indoors and I love that it's outdoors. Um, and as people are wanting to know about the weight, well, I don't know, maybe, it's not very heavy. I mean, heavy enough that it's not gonna blow over, don't get me wrong, but like, I don't know, if I had to guess, may, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 pounds? My first guess was 15, but again, it sits sturdy. It's really nicely weighed. I mean, this is all metal. It's like when Dorothy knocked on the Tin Man's heart. Right? <laughs> Um, but I mean, it's nicely weighted, so it's not gonna blow over or you know, anything like that. It's gonna stay still. I think also too, it's not something where as you walk by, you have to be like, watch out for the nutcracker. He's gonna stand there and he's gonna be just fine. So the silver and gold just sold out. We started with close to 4,000 of these. Oh my gosh, I only have 1,300 left. By the way, I don't think there's a second order for this guy for the rest of the year. Last year we had him in Christmas in July only, and that's all she wrote. So I think that's the same here, Christmas in July only, and that's all she wrote. Uh, so H208355, indoor, outdoor. Can't emphasize that enough. Put these outside, they'll be fabulous. Four easy payments, very little assembly. Christmas in July sale price. That easy pay, by the way, is only good today. That will expire at midnight. So for your best price with an easy pay breakdown, now is the time to get your oversized nutcracker. Only 900 now remain. Let's meet Rosemary joining us uh, for Holidays with Jill Bauer today. Hi, Rosemary, how are you? Hi, Jill, I am so excited. Oh, did you get one of our nutcrackers? I sure did. I've got the green and the red. Oh, he is classic, fabulous, traditional Christmas. I hope you love him. Oh, I'm going to love him. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get, receive it. I'm going to put him right in the hallway right when you walk into this oh, door in yes. the house. I love it. That's so great. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, and the price is wonderful. When you get him at home, I hope that you'll put a post on my Facebook page and let me know what you think of his look and his quality. I'm so proud of the way he turned out, and I hope that you're equally pleased. Oh, I know I will. I've, I've been shopping with QVC for many years. Aw, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Well, we're asking everybody on my Facebook page, what's your favorite Christmas song? Do you have a favorite? Yes, I do. And it is? Silver Bells. Silver Bells. Oh, that's a good one. I love that, Rosemary. <laughs> Terrific. Well, enjoy your nutcracker. Enjoy the holidays. And thanks for spending some time with me today. Thank you. May I say hello to a good friend of mine? Please do. Hi, Diane. I hope she's watching. Hi, Diane. <laughs> From Rosemary. <laughs> oh, thank you. Have a great day. Thanks for calling. You too. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. All right, so here's an update on our nutcracker. Only 600 remain. There is no reorder on this for this year. The, the this next 600 people to get him will be the next 600 people that will be able to have this at their home this Christmas because there's no more of him coming in this year. Let me just do this too real quickly, just sort of one final look in our final minute. I just wanna show you that he is finished all the way around. Now there aren't any lights or anything on the back, but again, look at all those curls. Remember when you used to do this kind of curled look for Santa's beard on little projects? in school, right? Um, look at that, they curl, that's metal. They've all curled that. All of this has been beautifully um, painted, weather resistant paint and coated, turning him back around, starting from the top. You see his black hat with the gold star and the gold feather, the banding of red here with the red and green lights. Oh, by the way, in case you were wondering where the battery box is, it's right here in his hat. Look at that, right there. So right inside here is a little holder. There's a little button here, and that's what you can use to control the on and off of the lights. There's just on and off, but there's also timer mode. 
put that down. It's all protected. Then you see his hat, look at his face. Even though this might look flat on television, those are actually domed eyes. His nose is not flat. Look, look at the dimension there. Look at the way they've created the mustache. Look at the detail on his beard. Then you can go down, then you see the red and green lights on each side. Here, I'll scoot him over just a little bit. There we go. Final 300, red and green LED lights. So you don't have to worry about those burning out. You don't need replacement bulbs. His hands are positioned, getting ready to play the drums. We've put lights on the drums as well. And as you continue on down, he has on his red pants, his black and gold boots, and he's stationed on a textured white metal base. The easy pay on this goes away at the end of the day. It is now last call on our oversized four feet tall, about 12 to 15 pounds in weight, I would say, nutcracker. Stay on the line if you're dialing in, only 150 remain. Another thing that we need to tell you about, we have sold out of our one day only, which is that wonderful collection of two trumpeting angels. So thanks very much for your calls there. And then coming up, so excited, my dear friend David Dangle is here with this year's one and only set of four 